how many parts there's going to be actually, because still want to pull the melons off everybody. So if you've seen the last video, tell us if you liked it, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I'm not going to actually smash the like button and all that crap. So like it if you want, you don't have to. Um, aye, so we'll just do a wee bit more. So this is not a video, like a step-by-step -step guide for other electricians who want to learn how to do EICRs. Um, uh, the video's not for you. Hang about and watch it if you want, but you're not going to learn much. Um, this is more for new clients and tenants, landlords, that um, if we're in doing an EICR, messing about in the house, and just to give them a better idea of what we're actually doing. Regulations are different for the bathroom. Well, it's actually locations containing a bath or a shower. In this one, and so that light switch is actually upside down, which I want to take a look at in a minute. Uh, might not be anything wrong with it, but the fact that it's upside down lets me know that it might be someone who wasn't an electrician that was in it. Um, that's just my opinion. We'll look at the light in here. It's not IP rated and it's pretty close to the bar, so we'll just measure. So, zone 2 goes to a height of 2.25 metres, so that light is inside zone 2 and also within 600 millimetres from the bath, so that's like 200, maybe less. So technically that should be IP rated, which it's not currently. So as I expected, it's not perfect. There's far too much copper showing at that connection there. So I'm going to snip that back and fix it while I'm here. If there's any small repairs, we just do it while we're here. There's no point in coming back to do things like that. And then I'm going to put it up the right way. I always have a screw space in the same way as well, just out of habit. This is your street, same again, light switch upside down. We measure this one, should be the same height because the ceilings are the same height. Uh, so that needs to be IP rated as well, so that's direct from zone 2. So, because it is, it's within 200mm of the shower screen, so it doesn't matter the fact that this is here and you can't touch it, doesn't matter, it's still in zone 2. So that needs to be IP rated as well. So the thing about it doesn't know what zones are, like actually inside the bath is zone zero, where like your water would be, and then from the top of the bath to the height of 2.25 metres is zone one. 60 centimetres or 600 mil out from that is zone two and the same height. Some people will even tell you, some electricians will even tell you that there's a zone around about the sink, like 60 centimetres or 30 centimetres, whatever. There's no zone around the sink, like obviously because the bath's here, this sink still comes into zone 2, but if the sink was on a different wall, um, there's no zone round about it. I would probably fail this EICR on that sparkly mirror, let alone the other issues in here. So these here, like when you get C1, C2, C3s on your EICR, this is basically what they mean. C1 is the most severe, danger present, risk of injury, immediate remedial action required. C2s is potentially dangerous, so like your bathroom lights that are in zone 2, stuff like that, um, that needs remedial action. Uh, C3 is improvement recommended, so it doesn't render your EICR unsatisfactory, but it's recommended that it's better than it is. Um, FI for further investigation means maybe we've found a fault but we can't get to the bottom of it and we need more time to look into it further. Not applicable is exactly what it says and limitation is maybe if there's no access to something, like maybe if we can't get into a certain bedroom or whatever, which doesn't usually happen, 
um, then it would need to go down as an agreed limitation. So this book is uh, EICR Code Breakers from NAPIT, or NAPIT I think they call themselves. Um, that's not, this isn't gospel but it is a guide um, and it tells you different stuff and it gives you the regulations. Um, because what is gospel for us is the 18th edition, 18th edition regulations, uh, BS 7671, uh, which we can refer to the regs and just read a bit more on it. So this one here, um, equipment installed in zones 1 and 2 with less than IPX4 ingress protection would be your bathroom lights in this property and that's the relevant regulation if we wanted to read into it further and that merits a C2 which again is remedial action required. We'll leave the link to this in the description if you're for interest you at all. So this EICR unfortunately is unsatisfactory due to the lights and a couple of other issues. So we'll get the report sent over to the landlord and take it from there.